Sheikh, I am fallen in the addiction of doing Biddat and I get too arrogant when trying to do Salaf things and uh, no, uh, avoiding Biddat. How can I not do Biddat because I became too arrogant and blind following person? This is solved by fixing yourself. Becoming arrogant because you're following the Sunnah is a little bit cuckoo. Because this is the norm. This is what we all follow. So imagine someone's following the Sunnah and instead of pleasing Allah, following the Prophet ﷺ, he falls in a major sin of arrogance. So in order to escape this, he abandons Sunnah and he falls into bid'ah and he falls into a greater, graver sin of innovation. It doesn't make any sense. You have to refine your Islam by being humble, to humiliate yourself to the Quran and to the Sunnah, to acknowledge your own sins. Those who think that they're above others just because they are following Sunnah and they are following Salafiyyah and they look at others as ants or roaches that they can step on with their feet, they will go to hell. And this is mentioned in the hadith. No one with an ant's weight of arrogance in his heart would be admitted to Jannah. And those who are arrogant in this dunya will be resurrected on the day of judgment in the form of men, but in the size of ants, where people step on them with their feet. So come back to your senses, refine your Iman and your heart by humbling yourself to others. Whenever you see someone in yourself, don't tell it to them. Say to yourself, they might be better than me. I have more sins than them. And this would make you, inshallah, more and more humble. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.